Good morning everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please... notification bell number three like leave a comment it's important and subscribe of course share to your friends number four subscribe yeah i have so many subscribers thank you to the 2.8 thousand subscribers over there Alright, so our lesson for today is about how to complete ordered pairs. So this ordered pairs is it will be taken up later. It's all about two variables. And this is for week six of mathematics grade six. And this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. Okay, so we are now uh, our objectives for this lesson. So we have number one is interpret a line graph and plot ordered pairs, and also find the uh, and how to add ordered pairs. Okay, so find other the pair. One one is x. What is the y value of uh, y? And for example, y is given. What is the value of Right. Okay, so we have here the um, a rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian or according for Descartes. No? So for Descartes, it is Cartesian, but we call it commonly called as rectangular coordinate system. And so we have here the x-axis and the y-axis. And so this is the quadrant one. Okay, so we have the quadrant 1, quadrant 2, and the quadrant 3, and the quadrant 4. Now, if we are going to assign this one, at the center of this is the origin, which is 0. So, this is our origin. Okay. So, or saan ba nagmula? Diyan sa kanang nagalingan ng x's or the origin, which is 0. Na? So, all numbers from 0 to up is positive. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Then, from 0 down, we have negative. Okay, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, you know? So, be patient with my hand because it's trembling actually. Not so young anymore. Okay, so we have one. So all numbers uh, in the x-axis now from zero to the right. So these are all positive. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, from zero to the left now is negative. So we have negative one, negative two, negative three. So, huwag nyo nang gayahin yung kamay ko na magkulit, na malikot. Kasi, uh, that's how it is. But if you have time, it, it is possible and you must uh, make it straight. Right? Make it straight. Okay, so, how are we going to plot, no? So, by plotting, we know that, for example, we are, if you are looking for 2 and 4, that means you are telling your 2 is x and your y is 4. Okay, so if you are going to plot this, it is in this part. Okay, it's in this part. Alright, next. Okay, so this 
So let us continue. We have uh, this is our origin. So we get here one, two, three, four, five. Then at the bottom we have negative one, negative two. four and then here from zero to the right we have positive in the in the x axis uh, our horizontal one or horizontal line is the x axis and the vertical line is the uh, y axis so we have the negative one uh, so from zero to the left we have negative numbers So it is important to familiarize this uh, Cartesian coordinate plane uh, for easy access. For example, we are going to plot A or point A which is 5 and 3. That means the x is 5 and the y is 3. So we have here you know, point A. Okay. We can change the color. We have uh, quadrant 2 uh, for quadrant 4. We have negative 2, negative, uh, sorry, positive 2 and negative 1. So our point B is here. Okay, so here in this area, we have point B. I make it light uh, higher so that uh, it, the no, no. So let's, next, uh, let's change color again. We have uh, negative 2. And negative 3 so that's in quadrant 3 so negative 2 and negative 3 here right here uh, so our with this amount again it's the point why the point C okay so it's big then let's change another color and so this is your C and then in quadrant 2 you have negative 4 and positive 2 so your in your your point is in quadrant 2 here so this is point B no so sometimes if the instruction says that you need to connect so you start from A then connect it to C connect it to D then you can connect it to the no? so as you can see you can you have form a, a triangle okay so it's just a perfect but that's it how we do it okay so let's have remember the caution no? so uh, in everything we do we need to have a caution so the parentheses used to represent an ordered pair are also used to represent an oven interval so the context of the discussion tells whether the ordered pairs or the open intervals are being represented right, next so let's have now let's study on how to complete ordered pairs or completing ordered pairs okay so we have for example complete its ordered pair for 3x plus 4y is equal to 7 now if your val the value of your x is 5 is 5 no so we have here the value of the x is 5 we substitute to the given equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 7 then so we have 3 times 5 plus 4x equals 7 so 3 times 5 is 15 plus 4y is 7 and then uh, we combine no? so uh, 4y no? is equals to 7 minus 15 okay? so because once you transpose or another is from according to the uh, addition of equality so whatever you subtract from the other you see so it's like like this no uh, 15 minus 15 okay then we can have 7 minus 15 okay it's like it that's why we get this so the result is uh, 7 minus 18 the result is 8 then divided by 4 okay so divided by 4 so that your 4 is Four y equal cancel, cancel, and then so we have y. The negative eight divided by four is 
negative 2. So therefore, the ordered pair is 4, 5 and negative 2. So this is a true solution. Okay. The same way we have to complete. Okay, so uh, your y is given, which is 5. Okay, so just the same. Substitute or replace the value of y by negative 5. Okay, so we have 3x plus 4 minus 5 is equal to 7. So 3x is equal to 20. It's then um, uh, you do like this. So 3x minus 20 plus 20. Then you do the same at the side. 7 plus 20. That's why we get 27 here. Okay. And then divided by 3. Okay. So cancel your x is equal to 9. No? 27 divided by 3 is 9. So therefore, the ordered pair is 9 and negative 5. Okay. Now, let's try this one. So if your x is 5, so what is the, or if your y, so from 3x plus 4y is equal to 7. So if your y is five, negative 5, so we have 3x plus 4 times negative 5 is equal to 7. So we have uh, 3x, no? Minus 20 plus 20. Okay, just like the previous example, no? So this is how we do it, no? So we got 3x is equal to 27 divided by 3. Okay, so x, cancel this one. X is equals to 9. Okay, next. Alright, so let's have here um, if our x is uh, equals to 2. So we have 2x or 2 times 2. Okay, you, we can substitute it directly. So we have 4 plus 3y equals to 10 then uh, 4 minus 4 plus 3y is equals to 10 minus 4 so we got 3y is equals to 6 divided by 3 our y is equals to 2 okay next <laughs>